Hey guys, so this is vlog number three for me, and today I wanted to talk about stupid people. Okay, so about a month ago, I I, I got a car, finally. It was a 2002 Volkswagen Beetle, my dream car. Um, so I got it. Yes, it was used because not everybody could afford a brand new car. So anyway, I got it not even a month ago. I haven't even finished paying it off, but for the past um, week and a half, it's been screwed up, I guess. Like, it turns off when, turns off completely, like when I'm at a, at a stoplight or a stop sign. It doesn't happen every time. It's just, it's only ha happened a handful of times. And it seems that it only happens when I'm in the car. My stepdad has driven it around. He says there's nothing wrong with it. My mom has driven, around, driven it around for two days straight, and it never turned off on her. So it's happening to me. I'm wondering if maybe it's because I named him Herbie. You know, Herbie fully loaded, you know that? So I'm like, please stop turning off on me. I'll change your name if you don't like it. So anyway, my mom took it to the dealer about ugh, a week ago. And the guy told her that there was nothing wrong. So there was nothing, you know, he could really do. Like... I don't know all this technical stuff, but he said that if you were to input something into the computer, the computer would tell him that there's nothing wrong with the car, so there was really nothing we could do, and none of the lights were turned on, like on the dashboard, you know, like the check engine or the battery lights, none of those were turned on, so he figured it was nothing serious. I freak out, of course, because it's my first car, so, you know, I don't want to be driving around, and then all of a sudden, you know, it turns off on me. I don't like that. So... We get closer to the stupid people. I think it's stupid that what he said to me. So, I don't know if you guys think I'm overreacting. I'm a car owner. owner. I think I have the right to overreact, but I don't know. Let me keep going. Okay. So, today I go with my mom and take him back to the dealer because on Thursday, my car turned off on me again. After five days straight of acting completely normal, it turned off on me again. So, I told my mom and we took it this morning. I haven't driven it all weekend. I haven't driven it since Friday. So I took it in today. We took it in today. I went with my mom. I just came back. It's 3 in the afternoon, and I just came back. For some of the class, I've had a really stressful day. Like, I went to class. The only class I had today was math. It was at 12, but I hate math. And tomorrow I have my midterm, which I haven't even really studied for, so I'm going to fail. I'm already failing the class. I mean, so I'm probably going to have to repeat that class. On top of that, you know... Now my car's fucked up, and now I need to take it. So I take it to the dealer, and, right, so he goes for a test drive, and he's like, well, you know, I went really fast, and I did a sudden break, and nothing happened. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with your car. So then he goes, you get in the car with me, and let's take a drive. Maybe it only does it when you're in the car. So I go, I sit in the passenger seat, and we go around for, like, five minutes driving, you know, going accelerating then you know braking really fast to see if anything will happen but it doesn't turn off there's a little devil so he's like well you know what you're a new driver it's all in your head seriously brother it's all in my head so what kind of driver would want to imagine their car breaking down on them and you know turning off completely Seriously, that was a really stupid thing to say. I'm probably really overreacting, but it really pissed me off that he, he probably did me crazy. Sorry guys, it was the mailman. I got something in the mail. Let's see what it is. I think it's my Hufflepuff shirt. I shouldn't be getting this for another eight days. Well, since I opened it, I might as well show you. I have a Troy one, and I'll show that one to you too. And that one's old though. So. But here's my Harry Potter one. Oh, it's so soft. Look at it. You see it? Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, I want to know where my Hufflepuff shirt is. It's super late. I need to call these people. Okay, anyway, back to my story. A really depressing story. So, basically, 
The guy's calling me crazy. Am I wrong? I don't think I am. See, he's telling me it's all in my head that I'm imagining it, that there's absolutely nothing wrong with the car, and, you know, that I was just pretty much making it up. The fuck? I don't know, but that just really pissed me off. Whatever. Well, one of my mom's friends knows a mechanic, and he's going to take care of my car because he actually cares about me. And my car. Okay, so now that I've got that out of the way, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I need to get it off my chest. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, tell me, what do you guys think? Am I overreacting? If you think so, just leave a comment below and let me know. Alright, bye. I almost forgot to show you my Troy little cover thing. This one's super old. I got it like three years ago. See that? I got it when High School Musical 2 came out. And then this pillow, I got it when the first High School Musical came out. It says, I love, I love Troy. It's not broken because my dog chewed it up while it was on my bed. So, yeah. Alright, well, see you guys in the next vlog. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Don't let any car dealers ruin your day.